Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve a Windows 10 or Windows 11 error pop-up through receiving that gaming features aren't available for the Windows Desktop or File Explorer. To start a desktop broadcast, launch a game, and then select desktop during your broadcast setup. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in settings. Best results should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. And now on the left panel, select the gaming option. So go ahead and select gaming. And then on the right side, select where it says Game Bar. So go ahead and select that. If you're running an older version of Windows 10 or Windows 11, it might say Xbox Game Bar instead. So on the top section here where it says Allow Your Controller to Open Game Bar, make sure that is toggled to the On position. So if you see any sort of issues in here, just want to make sure to toggle that on. So again, pretty straightforward process. Something else you want to take a look into as well if you're running the professional or higher versions of Windows 10 or Windows 11 would be to open up the search menu and type in Group Policy. Best results should come back with Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath Computer Configuration, double click on Administrative Templates. Do the same thing now for Windows Components. And then go down to Windows Game Recording and Broadcasting. And just left click on that folder one time. On the right panel, there should be one item in here. Maybe double click on it. It says enables or disables Windows game recording and broadcasting. Select not configured or enabled, either or. I would just set it to not configured here. And then select apply and OK. And then once that is done, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in settings. Best result, once again, we already were under here, but we're going to go back into settings one more time. And on the left side, select apps, and then select installed apps on the right panel. In the search apps field, type in Xbox. And now on the right side, select the Xbox application, the three little dotted icon next to it, and select advanced options. Scroll down. Underneath Reset, if this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select Repair. And then see if the problem has been resolved. If not, you can come back in here and select the second option, that if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. Give that a moment. Close out of here and then restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. As always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.